it change the gears a bit. Right, so um, let me just change. I need to stop presenting and then what? So, are we together? We are going to look at accounting for short term decision making. Okay, so particularly today, we're going to look at make or buy decision. Um, we're going to look at make or buy decision. Okay, so we'll try to finish make or buy decision and continue with short term decision on Tuesday. Okay, right. So, but first, before we go to our presentation outline, let's recap. What is accounting for short term decision making? Okay, what is accounting for short term decision making? Salimatu Balde, are you with us, Salimatu? What is your understanding of accounting for short term decision making? Salimatu? Are you with us, Salimatu? Saja Cham? Saja? Sringa Sanyang. Sringa. Sringa, are you with us? Are you people just ignoring me or you're not active online? Make it speak. Are you just ignoring me or what? Mind you, all this is recorded. I can always go back and say, who are my students who take part in class? It's very, very important to take part in class. Saja Chan? Aisa to Seka. Aisa to? Oh, I'm not get, getting anyone. Horeja B. Jane. Horeja? <laughs> Horeja B. Jane. Horeja, are you with us? Ibrahim Travale? Okay, it's what I understand is like how to, how best to use your resources to make to how best to use the resources of the organization in the short term. How like best make it a dish, how to for instance how whether whether you should make a product or you should buy it outside. Okay. Okay, good try, good try, good try. Kuma, Kuma Fayenke. Umaru Keta, you've just joined us. Umaru. You just went out and came back. Oh, Umaru, Umaru Keta? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Fufan. I'm just coming in. I'm having network issues. Okay, okay. Now we are on accounting for short term decision making. What is your understanding of short term decision making? Okay, I think we need to we need to move. Right. So is Ali Tala talking now? Yes, Mr. Fona. Yes. You never answered you never answered my questions. Are you usually in this size or what? No, where I'm is where it's noisy, that's why. It's too much noise, that's why. Why do you uh, have to be at a place that is too much noise? You're supposed to make your class private. Okay, anyway, right. So we're going to move. We're going to move. We're going to move. Um, right. So accounting for short-term decision making. Right. As accountants, what is our main purpose? Our main purpose is not 
just to crunch numbers and pass it to management to analyze it and come up with their own decision. No, that's not our main purpose. As accountants, what we should do is to crunch numbers, of course, to calculate situation, to calculate profitability, to calculate profit cost, okay? And to analyze them and make sense out of those numbers and advise management based on the numbers, okay? So in other words, our main purpose as accountants of a business is to advise management on financial grounds, okay? So accounting for short-term decision-making is the use of finances, the use of accounting numbers to advise management on short-term basis. In accounting, if we talk about short-term, we mean any period within one year. Any period exceeding one year is called long-term in accounting, okay? So we're going to look at the following topics. Uh, of course, not everything today. Um, quick intro uh, is what we are doing now. We're going to look at contribution analysis. Uh, do we make or buy a product, make or buy a decision? Um, there's some questions we need to answer on make or buy a decision. We're going to look at um, important factors to consider before we can make or buy any product. Um, a shut down or a discontinuance decision. Do we shut down um, a, a branch of an organization or a division of an organization or a product line or do we continue with it? Okay, um, these are all decisions that are usually taken by management and of course they need our advice as accountants. Okay, right, so we'll give you assignment. So, like I said, we as accountants, our responsibility is to give advice to management based on various options or alternatives, okay? So, if there is an investment decision to make, we accountants will have to calculate the numbers, crunch the numbers, come up with solutions, and advise management based on what the numbers, based on the stories the numbers tell. Okay, so that's really, really important. Okay, so managerial decision making, okay, uh, cost accounting information is often used in management for short-term decisions, okay? Cost accounting information is usually used to give advice to management to take what? Short-term decision. Uh, decision making involves, of course, five steps. You have to define problem, problem definition, identify various alternatives or options. We collect relevant information on alternatives and select the preferred alternative and analyze decision making. Okay, and we analyze decisions, okay? And advise management as to which decision to take, okay? So this is by Caleb Absis. So the first topic we're going to look at is contribution analysis. What do we mean by contribution class? What do we mean by contribution? Omar Oketa? Omar, are you with us? Right. Mohammed Gay. Mohammed, are you with us? Yes, yes, he's up one. 
Okay, yes. So can you tell us quickly, what do you mean by contribution? Yeah, from my understanding of contribution is, is a um, income. Mm -hmm. It's an income. Um, it's an income? Yeah, uh, uh, before, before we left the overhead. Okay, it is an income. income after sales, before deducting the overhead. Okay, it's an income after sales before and a variable cost, but before the, the, the overhead. Okay, so in other words, contribution is called the, the clean profit. The clean profit, yeah. Okay, contribution yeah. is called the clean profit. Okay, the reason why it is called the clean profit because it is basically the main difference between actual sales income and those expenses that are those expenses that are spent in order to make the sales. So it is the difference between sales and variable costs. So that's why it's called clean profit. The actual profit usually is the sales, less the variable cost, less the fixed cost, okay? The fixed cost, of course, um, as the name applies, does not vary with activity level. So in other words, whether you make more sales or you make less sales, the fixed cost remains fixed. And one trouble with fixed costs is it is everybody's business, okay? Fixed cost is everybody's business. It relates to the whole organization, okay? So contribution is very useful in taking short-term decision because of its nature. It is clean, okay? It is clean, okay? So contribution, of course, like I said, is the difference between sales revenue and total variable cost. Okay? So very, very, very important. We use contribution in short-term decision making. If we are faced with a production whereby we easily make contribution, at least as an initial uh, advice, we can advise that let the project go ahead okay because it is providing contribution okay so fixed costs can be considered but then they are not used in short-term decision making and the reason is simple fixed costs are costs that are expanded irrespective of the increase in activity level, okay? So, of course, we know our contribution. Um, we know our contribution uh, margin per unit, the total contribution, the contribution margin in percentage, okay? As you can see here, contribution is simple. So, it's basically the difference between sales and total direct. For example, if you have your sales, less direct material cost, direct labor cost, direct expenses, that gives you your contribution. Good. Okay, so um, we go to the second method in short-term decision, that's the make or buy decision. Okay, make or buy decision class. Are we together? It looks like I'm doing all the talking. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Mr. Cor, yes, are you following? Yes, yes, we are following. Okay, right. The numbers are reducing. I got 30 something now, it's about 24. Okay. Usman Jai, are you with us? Usman? 
Only very few people are participating. Only very few. Usman, are you with us? Okay, we're going to continue. Right. So, uh, we're going to look at the make or buy decision. Okay? Make or buy decision. Do we make a product or do we buy the product? Okay? Do we contract a service in house or do we uh, uh, contract it out? Okay? So it's really, really important to take a decision. Okay? Um, do we make a product or do we buy it? If we make it, what are going to be the implication financially? What revenue are we going to make and what cost are we going to incur? And if we buy, what revenue are we going to make and what will be the cost? So all these revenues and costs we are talking about in make or buy decision must be marginal revenue and marginal cost, okay? There must be revenues and costs with varies with the activity level, okay? Very, very important to take note of. Okay, so the decision to make a component or a product in-house or to buy from an outside supplier is what we call a make or buy decision. Okay, the underlying assumption of this decision is that all fixed costs of manufacture are general to the organization, like I said. They are general, they are everybody's business. And what belongs to everybody belongs to no one as a whole, and hence only marginal cost of making the component is relevant. Okay, so the decision criteria that we need to make in a make or buy decision is we compare marginal cost of making to the purchase price or the marginal cost of buying. Right. So, any questions before we attempt our first question? Any clarifications? Make or buy decision is a very, very simple one. In fact, most of the topics in short-term decision making are very simple. Okay, they're very, very simple. So are we together? Can we move? Yes, Mr. Vuna. Okay, good. So can you screenshot this question? Can you screenshot it? Okay, please everybody screenshot it so that uh, we can move to the spreadsheet to answer the question. So clear, everybody? Okay, shall we move? What's wrong with you, class? Uh, everybody's just so quiet. Shall we move, yeah. please? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. My class is not boring, except if you want to be boring. Yeah, let's let's just um, um there are two short questions that we, we can do. I know that um no one is having class at five o'clock. Is there anyone having class? All the classes have stopped, isn't it? Accounting for short-term decisions. Okay, so accounting for short-term decisions. I'm going to project this in a moment. Okay, so I just qualified as say February 21 semester. Yeah, 
So we're going to make this, we're going to expand it to 150. Okay. Can you see why I stretched it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you can. Yes. Okay. So let's look at the four section, which is uh, Clement's Limiter. Okay. All of you should have it. It says Clement's Limited produces a number of components, two of which it is considering buying in components X and Y. The cost of making component X is 14 and 28 variable cost and fixed cost is four and four and the total cost is 18 and 32 per unit. The purchase price from an outside supplier is 17 and 25. You're required. Should Claimants Limited make or buy? Okay, so we have to advise the management of Claimants Limited as to either they're going to make product X or product Y. Okay, so in order to advise them, we have to consider the marginal benefit versus the marginal cost. The marginal benefit here would be what? Okay, what will be the marginal benefit? Actually, in this case, it's all cost. It's going to be the marginal cost of producing X versus the marginal cost of buying X. And the marginal cost of buying Y compared to the marginal cost of producing Y in-house, okay? So this is what we should consider and uh, give an advice. So in other words, we have to look at the total variable cost of X, okay? The total variable cost will be the cost for producing in-house. We compare that to the buying price. The buying price will be if we have to use an outside supplier to buy. So we compare the two and see which one is cheaper. The same thing with Y, okay? So let's look at it. Let's look at it as simple as that. So we say EG1, I'm just gonna call this example one. So it's going to be Clemens Limited. Claimants Limited. Okay, so now we have products X and product Y. Okay, so let's expand this a bit. Now, what is the variable cost of making? So we put the variable cost, I just call it VC of making okay. and we're going to compare it to the purchase price. Okay, is that not the case, class? The variable cost of making compared to the purchase price from an outside supplier and we make a decision. So we compare the variable cost of making in-house to the purchase price, which is the variable cost of buying from an outside supplier. And uh, we, take, we take a decision. And the decision will be based on the cheapest, sorry, the cheaper option, okay? So what's the variable cost of making X and Y from the question? 14 and 28. 14 and 28. And um, 28. Excellent. What's the purchase price? 17 and 25. 17 and 25. Now, what we're going to do is we have to advise management. Okay? When you look at this, 
two products, you know that it's going to cost you 14 pounds to make in-house and 17 pounds to buy from an outsider. So what will you advise? Do you going, are you going to advise to buy from an outsider or are you going to advise to make it in-house? To make it in-house. In to make it in-house because it's cheaper. Okay. So when you look at product Y, okay, when you look at product Y, it is it's going to cost twenty eight pounds to make and twenty five pounds to purchase. So are you going to purchase or are you going to make? Purchase. You're going purchase. to purchase. Okay, good. So you have to give that decision here. But what we're going to do is, as accountants, we want to automate our work. Okay, this is only two products, but there may be an incidence whereby you can have tens of products, let's say 20 products, 25 products, or whatever, okay? So um, you want to automate your decision, you want to automate your advice, so that even tomorrow, if the numbers change, you can easily get your answer automatically using spreadsheet. So what we're going to do is we are going to automate our decision either to make or to buy using formula. And the formula we're going to use will be a simple if formula. Okay, we're going to use a simple if formula. Have any one of you used the, the, uh, the simple if formula before? Core, have you used it? Sakor? Yes, Chan? I did before. Yes. You used it before. Chan? No. Yes, yes. No, I did not. Okay. Ali, Ali Tala, are you saying that you've used it before? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So you're going to help us. So now, tell us how we're going to do, how we're going to develop our if formula here. Quickly. Yes, equals. Okay, we say equal. Where are you, Ali? Are you at the market? Ali, are you at the yes, market? I'm not far from the market. Yeah, I'm, about. Okay, I'm not far from the market. Okay, give us the formula quickly because your background noise is terrible. Yes, equal. Oh. Yes, equal. Uh huh. Uh, we use, uh, if. If. C5. C5. Equals if C5. Oh my God! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't worry. We'll try with someone. Can anyone give us the formula, please? Mr. Cole, you want to try? Mr. Cole. Suleiman, you want to try? Is Suleiman with us? Call. So for now, some people have gone for prayers there. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. I think let's let's do it this way. Since there is no class afterwards, let's have 10 minutes break for prayers and then come back. Yeah? Okay. That's it. Okay, let's have, yeah. So we come back, let's say we come back at um, quarter past five. All right. Okay.